Welcome back to Casual Bias Rugby. The Six Nations Round 2 has just kicked off. Uh, Scotland versus France. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant first game. Uh, France in the end, winners 2016. Controversial ending. And uh, I'll, I'll more likely talk about this than, than the game itself. I think it was an absolutely brilliant advertisement for the game, but also at times a shocking advertisement for the game. And I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, but let's, let's, get the, let's just get straight to it, okay? France did not deserve to win this game. Okay, Scotland totally, totally robbed in this one. I'm not saying um, they were by, were by far the better team. I'm talking about that final decision. If you had any, any form of normal brain function, you would have known that ball is grounded beyond the line. Uh, yeah, at first on the foot, but played through. That ball is grounded over the line, try time for Scotland. Scotland wins the game, Russell probably kicks it over, and the end score goes 23 to 20. Now, you could say, I'm, I'm talking about the ref and the TMO and all those type of things, right? But also know I'm South African, so you'll be used to it. South Africans always talk about the ref. But I feel this is such a big decision, and we'll, and we'll see the, the people talking about the ref as well. That is a try every day of the week. I would be so annoyed if that... I would literally come on here and rant for 40 minutes straight just about that decision if that was the Springboks playing. If it was the Springboks playing in the French position, I would also say, listen, that has to be a try. Okay, because the fair, fair is fair and that is a try. It's an absolutely blasphemous decision in my opinion. Scotland deserved to win that game. Well done to France, uh, staying in the game from the start, um, not, not getting out of... Uh, out of, out of reach with, with the scoreline. Just staying in there in the and getting a penalty and getting that try from um, Bill Barry. Um, so well done to Scotland for pulling it through. That is what the big teams do. We always talk about what the big teams do. It's, it's when you're struggling, you still get the result, right? Fair enough. But Scotland was so much better. I think there were so many standout players for Scotland today. I think Finn Russell was very good throughout the game. I think Tui Pelotu had an absolutely brilliant game. I think Ben White was absolutely scintillating. And then my man of the match, the fullback for, uh, for Scotland. My apologies, the, the name has just slipped my mind. Where if you look at the French team, how many guys were absolutely brilliant this game? Right, so I think Bill Barry had a decent game. I think Tom Ramos had a much improved game from, from last weekend. And... I think Gregory Aldry, once again, the standout player of the team. I don't know if you guys play Six Nations Fantasy, but he got you a ton of points by only playing about 60 minutes, 55 minutes. But th this, this was such a beautiful game of rugby, right? From the start until the end, and then that added that dull middle patch, which was as sharp as a blunt butter knife. Um, I think it was a brilliant game, so physical, such good running rugby. The kicking was co uh, consistent. Literally, it had everything. It had a yellow card as well. Um, both teams on the ropes at certain times. Uh, great defense, great attack. Uh, a lot of mistakes from the French team. But I think Scotland was so, so good. And they're so unlucky not to get away with the victory on this one. Um, I think this would have been such a history-making game for Scotland to win two in a row, getting a win over France um, at Murray Field, and then kind of heading into two massive games still ahead for you. Uh, obviously still got Italy, but then playing in the Calcutta Cup against England and then literally the big game, like imagine if Scotland had to play Ireland and was like playing for revenge of the World Cup where they didn't really perform at the best. They just got blown out of the water. That revenge story and playing to compete for the Six Nations trophy. That would have been a magical, magical story for Ireland. And it's all just been robbed away, clean, taken out of their hands by a single stupid, stupid TMO decision. I am absolutely disgusted by that one. But overall, Scotland, what a performance by them. Um, I think it was such a, such a good performance. Unlucky to concede a try at the end. That's just what the French do. They piled on the pressure. Um, and, then, and then finally, Bill Barry came through. But it, it was a moment of brilliance, I could say. Uh, no real defensive errors. They were, they were so good in defense. Even the commentator said it at, at the time. Where they, where they mentioned that the, front, the French just don't look like they know what to do with the ball. And that's how it felt. Um, at certain patches, obviously, the French looked good. But they made so many errors again. I'm, it's tough to watch the French team at the moment. Damien Peno making shocking knock-ons the whole time. Uh, some bad, bad decision-making. ill discipline getting players sent off. It's just... Oh, 
I don't know how many French people watch this channel, okay? The channel isn't the biggest in the world. I appreciate everyone that is here. Um, but I would love to get the input of some, some of the French people, just to hear the input of, of what they think about the French team at the moment, just watching the last two games. They were brilliant against South Africa in the World Cup, and it's just felt like that really shot them down, where it could have been like, we are bouncing back, that was our World Cup, but we're going to make this one our Six Nations, kind of like what Ireland did. But they've just been slaughtered, in my opinion, two games in a row, even though they won the game. Uh, Scotland can hold their heads so high after this performance. I think they were absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. See you next time.